Glyphosate is the most used herbicide in the world. In the United States, glyphosate was found in up to 70% of rainfall samples. We know that it initially attaches to soil particles like iron and calcium, but the particles can be really small and can be blown around or washed off into storm drains where they end up in lakes, streams, and rivers. One glyphosate product is formulated to be added directly to water, even into drinking water reservoirs. Some scientists think, given the right conditions, glyphosate detaches from soil particles in a process called desorption. In one study, 80% of glyphosate desorbed in a two-hour period. Glyphosate can impact many organisms not intended as targets of the herbicide, potentially causing non-target organisms harm in ambient waters. Global Environmental Legacy Foundation has reason to believe glyphosate and related products can be extracted from water using magnetic nanotechnology and capacitive deionization. There's also reason to believe glyphosate and related products can be disposed of in microbial electro generators and turned into electricity. Follow us while we vet these technologies for the application of extracting glyphosate and related products from global water systems. Find out more at globalenvironmentallegacy.org. The Global Water Improvement System, a zero footprint technology.